So then I, you really should have seen this coming. You know, every time there's something in the news that seems like it's too outrageous or too stupid to be really significant when you really think about it, we should have, we should already have it in our mind, okay, what is it that we should be focusing on? Why is this in our in our line of sight right now? Why is this what we should be paying attention to? There's got to be something else happening. Between all of this Caitlyn Jenner and and Rachel Dolezal commentary, controversy, whatever you want to call it, there are big things happening in the world. Most recently is the situation in the Dominican Republic. They are getting ready to deport a quarter million Haitians. Even though these people have been living there, they may have been born in Dominican Republic. Not, they may have been born to parents who lived in Dominican Republic. They may have been there for generations. And simply because the DR has decided we don't recognize your citizenship. They are planning on kicking 200 and approximately 250,000 people out of the country. And the United States, the, United, the U.S. State Department has decided to chime in and let me see if I can find this here. They mentioned that the, the, the U.S. State Department has gone on record and condemned the Dominican Republic for that action. And my thought there is, who are you to judge? Let me not, let me, let me not make it sound like I am on the side of Dominican Republic. It's wrong. That's highly wrong. It's just more black people being treated as subhuman. And apparently that's the way that it's been for quite some time in Dominican Republic. Uh, Haitians being treated as less than. Completely unacceptable. But when you look at it from the perspective of the United States State Department commenting on this and condemning that, you have to ask, wait a minute, where are you when all these police officers are getting away with murder of black people? Where are you when the man, the black man was hung in, I want to say it was Mississippi, somewhere in the South. This year, it was either this year or it was late last year, a black man was hung within the last year. Are you kidding me? And then someone came away with the story that, oh, he, it was suicide. It looked like suicide to us. Yeah, because that's what black people do. When we want to hang ourselves, we decide we're going to go outside, find a tree, and we're going to um, make it look like it was racially motivated. If I'm going to kill myself, I may as well make it look like a white person did it. Really? How stupid is that? But beyond the way that black people are treated... And our own government seems to let it slide. The fact that this whole concept of kicking people out of the country is nothing that the United States can speak to from a moral standpoint. I'm sorry, you're the authority on kicking people out of the country now? What about all of this talk that the entire right wing has been talking about for God knows how many years. We're going to build up a, a wall, a fence, to keep the Mexicans from coming into the country. They talk about deporting people all the time. Talk about illegal immigrant status. It's not bring me, you're tired, you're poor, you're hungry. No, no, you're need to be free. That's no longer who we are. But we still talk to other countries about their own situations like we have that right. Fix your own situations at home before you decide to try and tell somebody else how to live their life. I'm a serial cheater, but I'm going to tell somebody else how to fix their marriage. Come on now. 
That's not going to work. Where is our credibility as a nation? Now, the, the Dominican Republic, I don't know what it would take for them to recognize the humanity of a group of people who have been living there their whole lives. I don't know what it would take. But I know they're not going to look at the United States and say, oh, you know what? You're right. You got me on that. Sorry. You're right. We appreciate the, uh, the advice. They're not going to take the word of the United States simply on the strength of, trust me, we know better. No. It'll take more than that. I know the United States isn't in any position to judge. It needs to be changed. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be fixed. But let's not be hypocrites about who we are. All right. Take a breath, cleansing breath. Thanks for watching the video. If you appreciate my having an opinion, if you appreciate the video, if you enjoyed watching it, go ahead, like it, share it, subscribe if you like. Um, and I'm gonna try and get out of this heat. It's hot. Good God, it's hot. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> Look like I've been swimming in the air for no reason. All right. I would say I'm going to go play with the dogs, but these niggas are hot too.